Welcome to Let's Calculate Something. Today we're going to solve an algebra problem. Uh, it's a quadratic equation and we're going to solve it with a quadratic formula. Uh, before we go, jump into that, we'd like to invite you to subscribe and click the notification bell. We put out lots of content on math, science, um, algebra, calculus, everything. Uh, so if you want to see those videos, please subscribe, click the notification bell. Also in the comments, give us some feedback. Recently had a comment that something we put out here helped somebody on a quiz. That was awesome. That made us that made it worth us doing this. Please give us feedback. Suggest some problems for us to solve. We'll either solve them and put the answer in the comments, or we might even do a video. And if we do that, we'll give you credit for it in the video. So let's jump into the problem. We have a quadratic in the form of uh, 4x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. Whenever you solve in a quadratic, you try to get everything on one side, set it equal to zero, and then you can assign the coefficients. Once you assign the coefficients, you can plug them into the quadratic formula, and you're off and running. Now, I solved the quad I derived the quadratic formula in another video, which you can see up here. Um, if you don't want to remember this, you can always derive it. It's not that hard to derive it. It's pretty simple. You just have to complete the square and do some arithmetic, and you're good. Um, so if you don't want to remember this, you could, you could derive it, but it's also good to have in your back pocket and memorize it. It comes up a lot in, in, in all forms of, uh, of, of math. So let's start. We have a equals 4, and we have b equals minus 1, and we have c equals 1. Okay? Let's plug in. We have x equals minus b, so that's minus a minus 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is 1, all over 2 times 4, which is a. Okay? Now, we just have to simplify this, and we'll have our answer. x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 16 all over 2a. Alright, so if we take that up here, we can simplify this to be a minus 15. Keep everything else the same. So x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 15 divided by 8. Now, we have to deal with this minus 1 here under the radical. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to say it equals plus or minus the square root of minus 1 times 15. And then we'll have 8 here. Alright, so now we can take this out as the complex number i. all over 8, and that's our answer. So if we remember, i equals the square root of minus 1, and that puts us in the complex plane. Sometimes with a quadratic you can get real number solutions, you can also get complex number solutions. In this case we have two complex number solutions. We have 1 plus the square root of 15, i, 1 plus i times the square root of 15 divided by 8, and 1 minus i times the square root of 15 divided by 8. That's our answer. Um, please like the video, give us some comments, and we'll see you on the next one.